So in this video, we are going to do sales invoice. So how to raise a sales invoice in ERP Next. So bear in mind that we are assuming that all our sales invoices that we are going to be doing, they are going to be on credit. Uh, we are just going to be raising these sales invoices on credit. So to do that, you can just click on sales invoice there. And then when clicking on sales invoice, you click on add sales invoice. And then you go on customer. You need to enter your customer name. So to enter a customer name, uh, you need to select the customer name. So let's say our customer name is uh, maybe NMB Bank. NMB Bank is our customer name. And then when I type NMB Bank, it looks like NMB Bank is not in the system. So I just need to click on Create Customer. Then it gives me this window to create the customer. Then you need to enter the item group here. I can put any item group that I want. Let's say I want to put them under commercial. Then territory. You can click on territory and choose all territories. If you want to put other details like addresses, you can just click there. And then come here and add the address line. So here I can say number 47 road. You can say number 47 road. Lusaka. A zip code here you can put 00260 uh, if I want to put city I can put Lusaka state again I can put Lusaka country I can put Zambia so Zambia I've come I click on Zambia there and then I can click on save here so I've added my details for my customer name uh, uh, NMB now here comes the issue of adding our projects or our tracks into the system so in this case, I need to assign the track that is going to be uh, doing the order for NMB. So to do that, I can click on Accounting Dimensions. So I click here under Accounting Dimensions. Then I click on Projects. So I need to click the project or the track that is going to be handling this order. So I'm going to enter my track name. Let's say it's H003. Uh, there's no H003 in our system. H00, okay, it's there. So H003, so you see when I type H00, they are coming here. So I put H003, so I can see here they have come. So I click on H003. So the moment I put H003, it's going to show projects. H003. I can scroll down, uh, scroll down here. Then you come here under items. So we want to build 30 turn load. I click on, uh, no, I need to click on 30. Standard, yeah, it comes. And then our quantity here, we said we are dealing with kilometers. So let's say we are going to go for 700 kilometers and maybe we have negotiated, we are charging $3.50 per kilometer. So we end our $3.50 there. So it's already showing us uh, our total is three foot is 2450 You can click on Save there and then click on Submit. Here it's saying, do you want to submit? I can say yes. And then here it have got a status of unpaid. We are assuming that this one is not paying. Then you can click on print there to print our sales invoice. So that's how our sales invoice will be looking like. Then we also have a scenario where we want to raise our invoice from the quotation that we've done before. I can come and click here. And then I can click on add sales invoice here. Then here I can select my customer. Let's say I want to deal with NMB. I can select NMB here. I click my my bank name is NMB. Then here you need to click on get from. I can say quotation. Then here I can see, you should be seeing quotations uh, that have been done for NMB. Let me close that. So here there are no quotations done for NMB. So in that case, uh, I need to remove that that and add another customer that I know. Here I know some beef. I've done for some beef. Enter so you can now see the Zambi is appearing here. Part name Zambi, so I can tick here and click on get items. So automatically, our customer name is going to change here, and then I can come here under accounting dimension. Here, I need to click select the track that is going to be doing this job. Let's say it's going to be H002. So H002. H002, we don't have H002, we've got H001. So I can click on H001, 
then I can scroll down here. I enter the quantity. So quantity already there was 2,200. If you want to maintain that same quantity 200 quoted, you can just maintain it as it is. If you want to change the price, you can also change it. If you want to maintain it, you can maintain it. Then you can click on save. So the moment I click on save, make sure that here it changes. So it's now in drafts. Make sure that it changes to submitted or to unpaid. So you need to click on submit then click yes. It's now in the status paid. If you want to print, you can click, come here on print and then print. If you want to email, you need to come back here. Click on those three dots and email. Uh, maybe we have closed it. You can just click on invoice here. You don't know where to go, how to send it back or how to reprint it. You can just maybe go back to home, then click on sales invoice, click on Zambif, and then click here to print or click here to email. So that's it for doing sales invoices uh, in era Phoenix. And make sure, please note that these all these are unpaid invoices. We haven't paid them.